ఫేమస్ నా విల్ గో టు కార్డియా కెమెరా కార్డియా కెమెరా ఈజ్ మావిన్స్ ఫేవరెట్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ వర్క్ ఆర్ మేబీ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వెరీ ఫ్యూ స్పెషలిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ కార్డియా కెమెరా ఇన్ ద కంట్రీ టెల్ అస్ అ లిటిల్ బట్ అబౌట్ ద ఇండికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ కార్డియా కెమెరా సో ఐ గెస్ వన్ వే ఆఫ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ కార్డియా కెమెరా ఈజ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ క్రాస్ బిట్వీన్ ఎక్కో సిటీ Uh, and nuclear medicine all three kind of combined together uh, to give us cardiac mr but i think it's most um, i mean it's it's the best way to understand it is it's like a superior form of echo um what we do in cardiac mri very well is to evaluate the myocardium so any time you have myocardial disease whether it's an infarct whether it's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy whether it is a myocarditis um cardiac mr is today pretty much the the gold standard for all of these uh, conditions um we don't look at the coronary arteries on cardiac mr so that is ct angio and risk prediction is calcium score but like you do a stress nuclear medicine uh, technetium scanning or you know whatever is done similarly we do adenosine stress perfusion mris as well so that's why i said we also combine what is done with nuclear medicine and echo and put it all together so outside of coronary arteries cardiac mr pretty much looks at everything cardiac mr is very good for valvular diseases as well aortic stenosis uh, regurgitation but because echo is so good for the valves uh, we don't need to use cardiac mr in fact the only time we get references for cardiac mr for aortic stenosis is because the patient decided to take multiple opinions and then one person said it is severe stenosis high gradient another echo person said moderate stenosis moderate gradient third person said high stenosis low gradient then we do a cardiac mr to try and sort it out but otherwise echo is so good for valves that uh, we don't really get into all of that so what are the commonest reasons why somebody refers for cardiac mr to you what are the commonest indications so the commonest indication in my practice is thalassemia patients where we evaluate iron deposition in the heart because they get blood transfusions and they come every year to see whether chelation treatment has worked or not the second commonest is viability imaging where a patient has already had an mi but was you know an angio was not done within 24 to 48 hours or uh, pci was not done or whatever then especially in patients with low ejection fraction the question is is, is there any viable myocardium available in the area of infarction to justify revascularization um some cardiologists and surgeons still believe that it doesn't matter what the viability is you must revascularize everything that is blocked and they have reasons for that um but many now believe that you must assess for viability because if it's completely non viable why bother why open up a toes complete occlusion of the lad and things like that so those patients we scan our third biggest indication is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and that is only going to keep increasing so the prevalence of hcm in our country is 1 in 500 okay which means at least one of you here has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or at least half of us have half of one person has hcm plus it's mostly genetic so you have then family members and all of that and as the uh, awareness increases um and as more and more cardiologists now are being produced and have no work <laughs> in uh, ischemic heart disease and so now have to start doing other things which have been neglected in india so you know all of this electrophysiology uh, cardiomyopathy is all of this has been neglected we are way behind the western countries you know and some things we are very good in in doing stent uh, work and cabbage we are world class 
But when it comes to evaluating hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and then genetic screening and family members and follow-up, we are like uh, 20 years behind um, all the European countries and the US. That will only change when more cardiologists now start subspecializing in these areas because you know there's too much fighting in the uh, ischemic heart disease space. So when that happens, we'll see more and more of these patients being evaluated because uh, with, compared to ECHO, MRI gives a lot, lot more information regarding risk assessment, diagnosis, patterns of disease and all of that. Our fourth biggest indication then is myocarditis in various forms, whether it's genetic, whether it's viral, um, etc., post-chemotherapy and all of that. Just one or two indications which are relevant to the generalists. One is viability. So, uh, if the patient has triple vessel disease, for example, on an angiography, and if the patient has never had an infarction, uh, it's fairly, there's no need to study viability, ejection fraction of 60%. If the patient's ejection fraction is 45, 40%, has an anterior wall infarction in the past, and now you want to decide whether cabbage should be done or multivessel angioplasty should be done. They have many options to study viability. Dobutamine, stress echo, or a thallium scan. Uh, is MRI the gold standard here also for viability? So MR and PET CT are equivalent, uh, cardiac PET CT. MR is better than uh, thallium scanning. Um, so that's that's how. So it between is. PET CT and MR, it would what is less invasive? MR, no. I mean, in the sense, both are equally invasive. You still have to inject something in the body, but PET CT is very involved. It needs a lot of preparation, fasting, fat-free diet, and then you do the study, and then interpretation is also sometimes a problem. MR is a 30-35 minute procedure one time and you're done and no special preparation required so yeah how many cardiac mris do you do in a month or in no a every day about three four three four every day. day and what is the cost of a cardiac mri um the thalassemics are about eight thousand everything else is twenty thousand uh cardiac mri is an investigation is expensive twenty thousand but i think as family physicians we should learn as journalists we should learn to kind of think of uh, patients who would benefit with the cardiac MRI and uh, of course the cardiologist will be involved in the decision making but maybe you could suggest to a cardiologist that instead of doing a thallium scan or a WT means stress echo can we do if the patient is affording can we do a cardiac MRI how many cardiac MRIs you said in Mumbai did you say that no. so theoretically uh, theoretically yeah. about 10-15 Okay. Uh, places can do cardiac MR. Uh, there are, I mean, operating at the international level, there are only two in Mumbai, mine and one at Jupiter and Thane. Okay. And then at a second tier level, you could say there are two more, Kokila Bin and Reliance HN. That's it. Okay. You wouldn't send anywhere else. One of these four at the most. So who's the doctor at Jupiter? Um, so, Nitin Burkule, the cardiologist, runs it along with uh, Priya Chudgar. Okay. Priya is the radiologist. Priya and I have written a book on cardiac MR as well. So. Oh, wow. Okay. 